I just did a video like cutting an onion and that got like a million views. Well, here at Creme, we know why. His cooking videos are absolutely addicting. Forbes even called Matt one of the most fun chefs to watch on social media right now. And we have him live here right now. He's going to join us to chat with us about some cooking tips. Good morning, Matt. He got some coffee there. It is early this morning. Double uh, shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but first, we're going to talk about uh, how your videos on TikTok, you had no idea what the app was. And now you're giving people tips around the world and they're loving it. Now, if you guys ever watch my steak videos, I usually put fat side down first. And when coronavirus hit, many chefs were left with no job, including Matt Bursard, who was living and working in Seattle for Tom Douglas. Been cooking since I was 16 in restaurants, in restaurants. Now, here's what we're going to do. This 28 year old chef has been creating content on YouTube part time for eight years before the pandemic, but it wasn't his sole focus. That quickly changed. All it is is citric acid plus some garlic powder. When the Spokane-based company Spiceology took notice, he was offered a job as a test kitchen chef and moved to Spokane where he spent most of his time making videos, content with the spices back there. My audience is a mix of industry and home cooks, which is cool. Gordon Ramsay, let me know if this is too small for you. By now, you might even recognize his face from the popular app TikTok that exploded during 2020 with 2.6 billion downloads worldwide. I saw this TikTok opportunity. People were getting a lot of views. I just did a video like cutting an onion and that got like a million views. That's what everyone likes is when I like, have my cutting board, my knife, and just do like the, the cutting sounds. This is what actually grew me a lot on TikTok is freaking cutting chocolate, uh, which is crazy. One video after another went viral. Many are unique takes on recipes we already all love from popular restaurants. A lot of you guys have been asking me to make fast food. Just a different take on cooking at home. A different take that is working. Four billion views on his TikTok in only one year and millions of followers from all social media platforms has led to incredible brand partnerships and a career shift. You're able to support yourself full time on your social media content. Yes, uh, it's it's been amazing. Very appreciative of it. Most I've ever made compared to restaurants. Matt says a traveling food truck is in his future, but for now, he loves working for Spiceology and inspiring people to get creative in the kitchen. And joining us live now here on Up With Creme is Chef Maddie sharing some tips to up our cooking game at home. So good morning, Chef. Thanks so much for being with us. Morning. Thanks for having me. Hey, tell us what it's like, Chef, to work uh, for Spiceology specifically and how you've been able to maybe boost up your own recipes through some of those ideas you get from them. Well, first off, it's really great to work with a rad company like Spiceology, uh, chef-owned, chef-operated. Uh, and also, I get unlimited spices, like my favorite. I became like the flaky salt guy, so uh, I get unlimited flaky salt, which is cool. Um, yeah, it's, it's great. I love it. And of course, you kind of made the transition. You pivoted during the pandemic to make it all work. What's it like doing that transition and, and moving here to Spokane? And, and what has it been like? Uh, it's great. Honestly, I felt like a fish in water because, I mean, I've been working at the content thing for the past eight years while working at the restaurant. So just switching from that to full time video is just a quick switch, you know? Do you, do you have a couple of those uh, maybe spices or ingredients that you recommend that people have in their in their shells ready to go for any kind of meal that maybe people wouldn't expect? Uh, well, as you can see, I've got a bunch back there, uh, but you know, I would just recommend the usual like coriander, peppercorn, salt. Uh, we, you know, this is my favorite Aleppo chili flake. I don't know if you can see that right there, um, but that's my favorite Aleppo. It's got like a sweetness. Uh, to it, kind of like a pimento. Oh, I'm loving it. So I have a couple of these spices at home. I have the black and blue, uh, and I also oh, have do? the maple bourbon, Sweet. both delicious. But if someone's watching this morning and they want to make something tonight, what would you suggest? Uh, I would suggest just head over to my YouTube channel and scroll through it. 
<laughs> you know, I, I would imagine, Chef, you know? that you've, you've found some really unique situations, too. It could range from everything from a first-time cook looking for something that they've never tried before to maybe elevating that other dish that they've known for forever to, to, to the next level. What's it been like for you to kind of dig into that creativity yourself? Uh, it's awesome. It keeps you on your toes all the time, and, you know, you just have to be creative all the time, and it, it just helps, like, you know, your juice is flowing up there. Uh, I, I love it though. I love to help out home cooks and, you know, talk shop with industry chefs all the time. That's, that's basically what I do. I think it's interesting to point out too with Spiceology, it was mainly targeted to chefs and those in the industry, which now we've seen that shift in the pandemic, uh, you know, focusing on people working and living at home. So what has that been like mm -hmm. for, for you guys? I mean, is that beneficial for the company? Uh, yeah, well, I mean, as you know, restaurants have been, you know, it's been pretty tough for restaurants right now. Uh, and, you know, for Spiceology, what I've seen, because I mean, I only joined uh, 2020, but what I've seen is the switch from uh, restaurant to uh, home consumer. And uh, it's been just a crazy switch. Um, you know, I've just been having to focus on the home consumer the whole time. And uh, now it's kind of nice to have restaurants getting back into business and start to focus on them as well. Chef, one last question for you. You know, 2020, obviously a big year for you to build your brand on TikTok. Do you have any goals for 2021 and what you're going to continue to do with new videos that you've got coming out? A uh, goal for 2021 is just uh, go harder on YouTube, you know, get YouTube over a million subs and keep at it. Um, also, I'll be coming out with uh, some salts of my own soon with Spiceology, so stay tuned for that. Well, Chef Matt, we want to thank you for your time this morning, of course, highlighting that Spokane's uh, own Spiceology and how they've been able to, to you know, get past this pandemic and, and make it work. So anyway, thank you so much for being with us and sharing your story. Thank you. And uh, you're watching Up With Crimp. We'll be right back.